money when I grew up I had nothing Filled with backstabbers, my old life is disgusting Can't believe it, gotta thank God that I'm living comfortably Getting checks I don't believe, but she says she done with me Burn some bridges and I let the fire light the way Right guys, so once you put the two clips onto your timeline, what you guys want to do is just go to the point where you, the first clip is ends. So mine is right here. And uh, click your time right here and click minus 40. So it will go 40 frames back from that, uh, like that mark. And select the clip and click control K to add a cut. And then you need to uh, select the other clip and hold alt and drag up. And again, so it's create a duplicate and again hold alt and drag up so you have two copies of this clip and select these clips go to this 40 frames mark and uh, drag them onto that uh, point okay so after you do that just select the top clip and um, click right here click uh, fit and click on 25 and get your free draw basic under the opacity and then just mask around the top clip so into uh, uh, add a mask just like this so make the mask like this okay and then just go around it and make sure to change the mask feather to zero and then select the bottom clip of that and again get the free draw bezier and again do the same thing that you did for the last uh, video and now just uh, do the opposite way okay again change the mask feathers to zero and if you do it correct you'll have something like this and then just select the top clip and go ahead and change the scale to 50 and also change the scale to 50 on the bottom clip of that okay and then uh, just go to the beginning of that uh, clips and add a keyframe for just select the top clip and add a keyframe for position and hold shift and click on your right arrow key four times so one two three four so it goes uh, 20 frames uh, forward and again add a keyframe for that and go to the first keyframe and go ahead and change the position to the top okay so it's not visible on the screen and select these keyframes right click click on continuous bezier and select again select these keyframes and click this arrow and then go ahead and copy what i'm doing okay. so you need to click right here and then pull that down and also pull this down and make it like this and pull this right handle onto your uh, right handle onto your left side and then again select this and control c to copy that and select the bottom clip and select the effects control box and click control v so it will paste that uh, keyframes and for this clip you need to change the position to the down of the screen not up it should be down and then go ahead and play the effect you just made okay perfect okay and after that we can uh, animate that uh, scaling effect so the to do that just go to this uh, second keyframe right here and add a keyframe for scale again hold shift and click on your right arrow key four times so one two three four and again add a keyframe and change the scale to, to scale back to 100 select these keyframes right click click on continuous bezier and again click this arrow and co go ahead and copy it down what i'm doing right now so just pull it like that and also pull this handle just like that so after you've done that again select these keyframes ctrl c to copy that select the bottom clip and go to this uh, second keyframe right here and click ctrl v so it will paste that uh, if, uh, keyframes and just play the effect okay perfect and then you can apply that uh, glow effect so go to effects tab and go ahead and search up a uh, uni dot ecto so this is a universe plug uh, plugin so if you don't have universe plugins i will leave a link to download them in the description so feel free to download them okay and then just drag and drop the unit dot ecto effect onto the top clip oh yeah so before that just right click on the top clip and click nest click ok and also nest the bottom clip of, clip of that and now drag and drop the unit dot ecto effect onto the top clip so you will see this uh, you know glow effect right and then go to effects control tab and open up the unit dot ecto effect and open up the glow settings under that and go ahead and change the post glow to zero and then uh, you can choose any color you like so i'm gonna choose maybe maybe like a red color so yeah 
can choose any color you like so i'm gonna choose a color like this so after you've done that i just go ahead and uh, select that effect ctrl c to copy that and paste it to the bottom clip so you have the same uh, effect to the top and to the bottom clip and again go to effects tab and go ahead and search up tint and again drag that effect onto this clip to the very bottom clip and go ahead and change the cl uh, click on map white to and go ahead and change it to, to a color you like so i'm gonna choose a red color because i add the red color to my glow effect so yeah so after you've done that uh, again go to effects tab and go ahead and search up a gauche ambler and drag that on again drag that onto the very bottom clip and again go to that uh, 40 frames mark and add a keyframe for amount to tint and blurriness and hold shift and click on your uh, right arrow key one two times and change the blurriness to maybe 20 and click on repeat edge pixels and again add a keyframe for amount to tint and go to the first keyframe of the tint and go ahead and change the amount to tint to zero so you'll have this fade in effect okay so now we actually created the effect and now we can put some final touches so to do that just go to this uh, like go to the point where you like cut the clips select this uh, clips and click ctrl k and delete the other part of that and again select these two clips right click click nest and click ok and select the other part of this clip and again uh, click right here and click uh, click plus and click 40 uh, type 40 okay and click ctrl k and backspace and again click right here and backspace and then just drag this clip onto the video layer tool and then right click on this and click apply default transition and go ahead and decrease the length of the transition and go ahead and play the effect okay perfect and now we can add some sound effects so i will be right back after i found the sound effects so guys as you guys can see i put the sound effects to that uh, transition and also i add a soundtrack to the effect and after you are done with the editing just go to the beginning of the clip and click i and go to the end and click o so you will you enable the in and out points and click sequence and click on uh, render into out and then it will render your clips and you can play the effect uh, smoothly so yeah now let's play the final effect Gotta thank God that I'm living comfortably Getting checks I don't believe But she say she done with me Burn some bridges and I let the fire light away And yeah guys that's the final transition that we made And I hope this video helped you out And if you get any problems please be sure to comment down below I will answer every comment you guys make And also please be sure to like and subscribe the channel If you want more tutorials like this And yeah that's pretty much it for Rio Thank you so so much for watching this video until the end and yeah I will see you guys in the next video and peace.